Hi, I'm Connors from Gunroom TV. We're here today at the Surplus Store in Crawley to have a look at what is the paragon of airsoft shooting shops in the south of the UK. Let's go inside and have a look. I'm here with Dan at the Surplus Store and we're here to see airsoft stuff, but you guys do so much more than just that. Can you tell yeah. us a bit about it? <laughs> well, we started with um, the first G10 pistol, if you remember those, back mm -hmm. in 94. It's kind of snowballed from there, really. Started off 61 with actual army surplus gear, workwear, that sort of thing. Brought in the air pistols and air rifles in 94, and in early 2000 we picked up the airsoft stuff. Mm -hmm. But um, as you'll see behind me in a minute, we've got a lot of guns here. So, we're here in the airgun section. Um, mm -hmm. Why don't you tell me about some of the brands that you've got here? Okay, um, we've got quite a few. Um, start with the basic SMK ones for the beginner guns. Um, go up to Kometa and uh, then you get to the Air Arms, PCP rifles, Virar, good old British brand, the BSA rifles. Um, even got the Day State rifles, which are phenomenally good rifles. I've just been up there for a training session with them actually, so <laughs> we'll shout out to them. Um, yeah, I've got pretty much something for everyone here. Do rifles for hunting, for target practice. Um, a couple of HFT rifles, that's the hunter field target mm -hmm. stuff. We're over here with the pistols. Um, I, want to, I wanted to say we're here to see the CO2 pistols, but you've got so many more actions around here as well. Yeah, we do have the CO2 pistols, but we've got a couple of others in there as well. The uh, the Virot little HWs are an overarching spring powered thing. Yeah, the single stroke pneumatic. We've got the single stroke pneumatics as well. We've got multi stroke pneumatics with oh, the, yeah. the little Zaraki that's in there. Um, over to the CO2 pistols behind me, even the CO2 well, rifles there. Yeah, so these guys take the 88 gram, the big CO2 cartridges, and yeah. they've still got a road through magazine in there. Yeah. Now, I'm a big fan of a Smith & Wesson M&P, so you've got mm -hmm. that in here. And these CO2 guns, they do look like the real thing, and in a country where we're not allowed the real thing, they can be quite a good substitute. Now, mm -hmm. I've recently taken an interest in knives. Um, tell me a bit more about what you have here. Okay, uh, we've got quite a few things. We started with, um, basic folding and lock knives, um, and went on to the bushcraft knives, uh, for those that have a bit more of an outdoor lifestyle, um, Boss likes a blade, so we've got some of the more Bowie knives as well, even yeah. go right up to the machetes if you have, uh, <laughs> well, I've had uh, some problems with brambles in my garden in the past. So. Well here's the thing, something like a machete has a perfectly practical use, thanks for showing me all the knives, I am certain I'll probably be buying one before we leave here today, <laughs> um, but you have so many more guns for us to have a look at, so we do. Let's go have a look. Let's go. This is the main reason we're up here today, is to see your pistols. Now, I'm a practical shooter. I shoot quite a bit of IPSC, mm -hmm. and most of IPSC around the world is done with four bore handguns. We're not allowed those over here, but there is a huge community shooting action air IPSC matches, and also there's an even bigger skirmishing community. Now, you guys get a lot of customers from both from both fields. Why don't you tell us a bit more about the pistols and the options that you have for them? Um, we have, well, quite a few different pistols here. Um, most of the IPSC, um, the experience that I've had at least with the, the guys that come in for practical pistol, it's all based around the high cappers because they've got all of the upgrades available for them. The, the Tokyo Marie Gold Custom is a great start for that, that sort of thing. Even the uh, WE pistols, they come on leaps and bounds in recent years. The WE high cap is a great pistol now. Average Joe comes in and he wants to buy a pistol he's seen in the film so he can shoot some tin cans in his back garden. What can he and what can't he do? Um, well, is if you're straight off the street you have no airsoft experience, you can either get one of our air pistols from over the other side. Uh, you have to have ID, you have to uh, come in and buy it on a face-to-face -face transaction, you have to be over 18. Um, for the airsoft stuff, if you haven't got a defence to buy it under the VCRA, which is the Violent Crime Reduction Act 2006, um, 
you have to either get it two-toned, which is uh, predominantly over 50% of bright color, so bright blue, bright green, or you get a defense under the act, which is either you be an airsoft skirmisher, uh, reenactor, Her Majesty's servant in the rest of it. Yeah. I love pistols and I do want to stand here and talk all day about them with you, <laughs> but there's also a lot of really nice rifles behind me, so let's go and have a look at those. Let's go. So we're over here with the rifles. A lot of these are AEGs, so electrically operated. There's a gearbox, there's a motor. Mm -hmm. Tell me a bit more about some of the things got on the wall. Okay, um, well, we've got quite a few up here. From the new uh, VFC, the Sabres, uh, we've got the VFC, the officially licensed Heckler and Cock, uh, 416 and 417s. Got a few Tokyo Mary recalls. We've got the KWA recalls up here as well. That one's the, the, their Ronin model. Uh, really nice kickers, those. We've looked at a lot of rifles mm -hmm. and a lot of pistols, but one thing that every shooter needs are accessories. Oh yeah. And you have a lot of those. <laughs> we do. What sort of stuff have you got for a budding shooter? Um, well, most important accessory of all, iPro. Yep. Um, we've got decent iPro. I personally wear the Wiley X uh, glasses. They'll not only stop your BBs, they'll stop a shotgun. Wow. <laughs> not bad. We've got face masks if you uh, like your teeth. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got camouflage, plate carriers. We've got pouches. We occasionally get X-Army uh, pouches in as well if you want something a little bit better value and a little bit hard wearing. We've got the MTP pouches in. Uh, we occasionally get the Osprey vests in and uh, a lot of ammo tins if you want safe storage for your lipos. And to go along with your new gun, mm -hmm. you're going to need gas, you're going to need batteries, you're going to need pellets and BBs. You sell all of that here. Why don't you just yeah. sort of go around and tell me the sort of stuff that you've got? Okay, um, spare mags, we've got uh, the new Pro mags, G&G, WE mags, we try and keep a good stock of all of them because if you buy a pistol, you've got to have a couple of mags for it. Um, BBs, always use high quality BBs. We use the Devil Blaster BBs. Um, the, the new RZR BBs have come through very well and the longbow ammunition for the sniper rifles is brilliant. Then on pellets, we've got a wide selection of pellets for the air rifles, um, gas and CO2. So we've got the 12 gram CO2s, the 88 gram CO2s, a good array of uh, green gas, New Pro, the 3.0, 4.0, and the 144 for the Tokyo Marie plastic slides. The people can come in here, they can come in with nothing, you can kit them out with their entire loadout, whether it's HFT, mm. skirmishing, IPSC, air pistols, soft yeah. pistols. Um, yep, yeah. from the boots on your feet to the hat on your head, we can do it. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> this is your work. This is the work area. Mm -hmm. um, this is where you repair, modify, tune people's guns, whether they've bought them from you or from outside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if uh, you have a problem or you need an upgrade, just give us a shout, we'll try and help. They also got the two toning facilities out back, which we're not going to have a chance to have a look at today, but they can offer that service to you should you choose to buy a gun from them. Mm -hmm. Speaking of buying guns, I know you said that's not a beginner's gun. Also, please don't two tone it, it's too beautiful. Yeah, I know. <laughs> It's not, you, I know you say it's not a beginner's gun, but mm. is there any reason why a beginner shouldn't buy one? Absolutely not. I mean, the, the, the Tokyo Mary guns are great guns full stop. If you can afford it and you want to go for something that's good straight off the bat, go for it, definitely. Cool. And it doesn't stop there. We're shooters. We like to fit, we like to upgrade stuff. Yeah. And <laughs> even a nice gun like that, that's great out of the box, can still be tweaked and toyed with. Mm -hmm. You've got a couple of bits on the table there. Yeah. Why don't you show me what they are and talk a little bit about them? First off is the flavour of the month at the moment is the Maple Leaf Crazy Jet Barrel. It uses a little sloughs off the edge around the BB just on the end of the barrel to release the pressure and give it this little jet stream around it. Um, they are the go-to barrels at the moment. They're great little barrels and I've got them in my pistols and my gas blowback rifles. Um, the other one's the Maple Leaf uh, Autobot Hot Rubber. About the best for the pistols and, and gas blowback rifles there is at the moment. Um, Almost a flat hop in makeup, Delta with a V on the end, and they just the BBs just keep going straight. Dan, thank you for letting me into the sanctum of the workshop and showing me around your amazing shop. I've had a great time. Undoubtedly, I'm going to spend some money before I leave here today. Awesome. Thank you for everything. No problem. And guys, it's been great, and I hope to see you soon.